Hello everyone, Supersonic Blue here, and welcome back to another GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition Activity Guide 100%. Here on the channel, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the first of the four races around the map. I was going to do story stuff, but I've got I've basically got that much activity stuff still to do. I want to do activities first before moving on with the story. Um, so. Like I said, it's the first of four. So these are th so this one's at the Las Ventures Airport. Um, these are all flying ones. I just had a little quick chuck check to see which ones they are. Then the other three we've got is this one down here, which is a race one. Uh, we got one here in Los Santos, just there, and then we've got another one in San Fierro where the one garage is um, from the import export missions. So like I said, we're gonna do these first. Um, there are varying distances and varying different planes. Um, I want to do this as well so that I can get my um, flight skill up for when I do Torino's missions, which the first one is a little bit of a pain. But, like I said, I want to do activity guides for the fir for a uh, first few videos, um, and then I'll probably go back to the story. But we, like I said, we just got that many activities to do. Um, I just want to get, I guess, just want to get them out of the way, basically. So, like I said, we're going to do this first one. We we'll probably, I don't know if we'll do them all in this video or I'll split them. I don't know. It depends on how long it'll take me. But we're going to do this one first. Chop, chopper checkpoints. All there's, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six of them. So, and they're obviously, obviously all varying distances and all different locations and different air vehicles. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, I can't remember if there's anybody in the actual um, race or it's just you, it's like a time trial type of thing, but you have to do these 400% completion, there's 22 races in total. Um, I don't know if it actually includes these in my all. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to do with them anyway, so let's, let's get cracking. Oh lord, that's loud. This is a time mission. You must complete it quick as possible to achieve the best possible time. So, like I said, I don't know if these are timed or not. I have no idea, but we're just going to do a quick rundown of each one. We're going to do them all once. I don't know if it's going to be a bit like um, when we did Torino's monster mission where you had to to do it in a set time because obviously that was like a checkpoint race but it wasn't like it didn't tell you um how many um what what the time was you had to do it in so um obviously i don't know i prefer choppers than anything else so but yeah i'm gonna go this way so pay close attention to the minimap on where you've got to go. Um, like I said, my flying skill says it still isn't brilliant. Um, but like I said, in one of the Torino missions, you, you've basically got to fly really low to the ground. And um, yeah, it's just a bit of a pain to do. Try and kind of keep away from the left there because it's the Area 69 uh, base. If you get too close they will shoot you down even in these missions. Well they did in the older games anyway so I don't know about now so I'm assuming it will still do that. But I'm just sort of taking my time. You could probably do it quicker than me, but probably gonna do that bridge now. I can't remember where it's gonna end. I don't know. Yeah, under bridge. I thought it would do that. It seems like an the uh, the obvious obstacle to go for. I don't know. I think it ends around here. If I remember the map, which I don't. Or does it circle back around? Ha, oh, I don't know. 
Oh, I remember when we collected all the collectibles from around here. We've now only got the, um, I think he wants left, uh, tags in Los Santos. We're coming towards the Bay Marina. That's where the boat school is. We'll be doing that, um, in another video. That'll probably be the next on the list. After doing the flight schools, we're probably doing the schools and then the stadiums, which are all required for the percent. That way. I will be doing a rewards video as well. Um, to do with all the collectibles. When we're gone. Um, and what you can do with the oysters is to do with the girlfriends, but. Cross that bridge when we come to it. I don't want it to be like particularly an hour long video of me flying and doing races. I want them done as quickly as possible, but it just depends. Like this one's been going on for three and a half minutes already. And there's six of them. So it could be like bloody five minutes of race. That'd be forty then that'd be like half an hour. So the video, the video length I aim for is about half an hour. I will do longer if necessary. So we got ten grand for that. So yeah, it wasn't it just a time trial, but you got ten grand just for doing it. So which is fine, which is always fine. Okay. So that's the one we've just done. So now we'll do this Whirly Bird Waypoint. So from the title, yeah, that's suggesting that it's going to be another chopper. Like a new chopper. Between the buildings of... So this one ends at the... Um, look like near Jizzy's Club. Oh god, this is a... Oh, this is going to be a bad one. Oh god. Now ironically I should be okay with this because whenever I did them in GTA 5 there's like an under the bridge challenge where you have to fly under I think it's 50 bridges. I used to do them in choppers. Oh. So, because I always found it easier than planes. But um, I'm sure there'll be a 100% guide. Um, 100% trophy things 100% uh, completion guide when the remaster comes out for the for GTA 5 so which will be included to do all, all 50 there were trophies related to it as well which I never ended up completing but oh well I don't guess we'll have to wait and see but the way it's going at the moment you've got a 100% complete San Andreas you've got a 100% complete G Vice City and a 100% complete um, the GTA 3, so I'm guessing they're going to be at doing GTA 5 as well as the rumored GTA 4 remaster as well. So, um, wait, where is, where, it, where is it? Oh, it's the, it's, it can be a little bit mis misleading sometimes, the, uh, oops, the, um, radar of where you actually are on the map it always confuses me slightly I think I've got to go around here yeah up there so there's a little spin in the middle and then it sh I think it just ends up going we'll probably go down here oh it's oh it's tight around here oh Yeah, I don't. I'm going to drop it to it. Okay. Yeah, I think then we just end up going along here to up towards Jesus Club. Oh, San Fierro Bay or whatever the bloody hell it's called.
Okay. So yeah, we'll just be having a a racing day type of thing, races day. These will all come out on the same day. So obviously, normally do th when I release videos, I do three or activities. I do three a day. I'll do four a day for this occasion because um, obviously there's four races, and then for the school. Um, I'll probably schools and the stadiums I'll probably have all this on the same day as well so that'll be five videos I might do maybe the schools with like I think there's a, one more choreo we need to do so I probably might do it with that with that and then do the the, the stadiums afterwards because I think there's four events I'm going to sneeze <coughs> I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I just all know as I want to do these before I start continue on with the story because there's a lot of uh, stuff I still need to do. So just come past just this close. It won't. It's not much further now. There we go. So you get sand ground each time, which is good. But Jesus Club was right. Was there? Okay. So what's next? Helly Hell. In Los Santos. So it starts at the airport and ends in the airport, probably going under a load of bridges again. 3.08 miles. Oh god, it's in a hunter. I think that I think that's what this is called. Uh, hey. Like I said, if you were expecting um story videos today, I apologize. But it was, it was just, it was starting to bug me. Because I hadn't really done any activity videos for a while and... I just needed to catch, I just wanted to catch up. Oh my god, this is the biggest thing known to man. Why on earth? It's, it's below this tree. I can understand why it's called Helly Hell. Next aisle. Oh, we've still got some more of the ammunition stuff. I know. I know. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'll. I'll do a full one. I don't think that all the the full one unlocks though until we hit. Ha! Ah, lost. Uh, got really careful of that tail. Um. Obviously, in the meantime, what I've been doing is um. I actually platinumed Far Cry 6, the PS5 variant. I'm doing it again for PS4. I feel like when I was doing the videos of it, I didn't really do it justice because obviously I had to take off all the music because of copyright. So I'm playing it again with full music, and it's it's a really good game. It wasn't great to record. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty terrible thing to record because well, one, no one watched it, and two, it just wasn't enjoyable because of the the lack of music in it. I'm enjoying it a lot more and I'm using different weapons that I prefer. Oh my Oh do I do it do it do it do it do it now? Oh no, no, don't do it now. Oh god. Okay. I will Don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Um Oh Oh Okay. Like I said, you don't have to rush because it's a, it's a thing. It's a uh, time trial. So yeah, I would drop where I dropped in there. Not the first time. We have more space to do so, and I'm rising out of here. There's a tag there. I've just seen it that we've obviously not done yet. We've only done the first six, which was story related. Um, next one is there. Um, so we've got 94 left of those to do, but like I said, they'll be done once we head back into Los Santos. As well as look. But, obviously I wouldn't release that information if the game was brand new, but because it's been out 20 years, a lot of people know how the story goes, and I know there's some other people who are probably watching these videos and never 
played it before, which is good. New audience type of thing. Ooh, I'll probably do a review after I've done the series as well of what I thought of the update game and stuff like that and activities done and things. I mean, I'll be pl I'll be, be going for platinum for this anyway on the PS5 and on the remaster as well, the PS4 remaster uh, on the PS4 variant of as well. Um, and then that would be three. That would be three San Andreas platinums if I do that because I've already platinumed it on the original this game on the original series, but on the original edition of it, 100% wasn't required. And it's been a long time since I've hundred percent this game. The first time I probably I've only hundred percent this game like once, and I think that that was when I first like maybe played it for the second ever time on the PS2. So I've not done this for a long time. That way. I think I'm coming back towards the airport now. If I remember the map. Okay. Okay, don't want to crash. We definitely don't want to crash now. The, the, oh, they've, uh, they've sorted the rain now, I see. Um... They have had an update on this since I last played properly, so at least I can see where I'm going, which is a which is great. Um, and obviously you can put in the mist mist thing, which, if I'm completely honest with you, hasn't really changed it. Not for what I've seen anyway. I can't remember what it's called, but you can add a a mist thing on it. And um, I've not really been over that side of the map. They've not changed that, I see. Uh, yeah, but they've put this mist thing on it, and like the fog back. And it, if I'm if I'm perfectly honest with you, it's for for me, it's hardly changed. So, but the rain, the rain is a massive improvement <laughs> because I was regretting playing GTA 3 because of the rain. Because the game's such a dark game. It was when I played it on the trilogy anyway. Rain like that was going to make it goddamn near impossible. But that's the third one. Okay. Mm uh, World War Ace. This will be a um, plane. I think this plane will use in Torino's mis first mission. So this will give us good indication of how to uh, fly this plane. I'm going to be taking my time. So this is the one we've got to fly at low altitude. So... Um... Oh, you've got to do it all within a time limit as well, as I seem to recall. I'm already losing control of it slightly. Okay. Right, go back around. While it's, uh, oh, there's the Arcadius. While it's not, um, necessary to, um, you know, you're not racing against other. Um, you know. Oh, whoa, 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 I dropped suddenly there. I was looking at the map and, uh, yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> but yeah, Torino's mission, I am really not looking forward to. The the rest of them are okay, it's just the very first one. And then there's... After you do Torino's missions there, you've got the the truth that you do there. And there's a gold-related trophy for... Oh dear. For one of his missions. I've had a look at online, see how you do it, so... I'm going to try and do it in the story, if I can. If not, I'll do like I did with my, like, assassin thing, trophy, I think it was called. 
in Mad Dog's mansion were uh, Okay. Rise. Oh god, I'm all over the place. I think I've got to land it as well. <laughs> I'm just putting it down now. So yeah, the play ones are going to be a lot quicker. I don't know if I've got to land, that's why I've got them down. <laughs> okay, I didn't need to land. Oh, wise results so spaced out. I've got barnstorming, 7.64 miles, both starting and ending in San Fierro. So this is the fifth one. I hate, I hate these planes. They are so uncontrollable. It's probably the best words to use for them. Oh, 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 that way. So, again, I will be taking my time. If I miss a checkpoint, I will loop around. I'm not really bothered if, uh, you know, I miss it. Okay. Like, these ones are so bad to control. And remember, this is a 7.6 mile one. This is the... Ha! Huh, um, second longest. The next one is... I think it's not something to do with the mil... It's a military in style. It's a Hydra you use, I think. Um, so, with the Hydra, you've got obviously fly mode and you got hover mode as well so a hydra is actually quite it's it's quick and it's not that it's easy it's not i won't say well i won't say it's hard to control but it's not easy either this this is hard to control even with good flying skill it's just because it's so damn small and light you just if it's got a sudden dip in elevation, you're just going, like, you're going to lose control of it if you're not careful. So, oh, these, this video will probably go out on Sunday. All my um, thingy ones, my uh, race ones will probably go out on Sunday. I'm doing this on the Saturday. As we, okay, I needed to turn the, okay, okay. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So, like I said, I was thinking about getting some story missions out today, Saturday, but I was dealing with some stuff last week, so that's why only one video uh, story day came out. Oh, oh, it went see through. I was, uh, I was like. Where is this taking me? So... Uh, like I said, I was dealing with some stuff last week, so... Only one day... Went out, so... So that's why I decided to focus on activities. Uh, for the next few days, because I can get most of these done relatively quickly some of them will be really short videos some of them will be like half an hour long videos like this one will be probably all the other races race ones actually no all the race will probably be about 15 20 minutes i don't know 
<laughs> Obviously got the vigilante ones left as well. But they will not be done until I've hit Lost Sansos. They, it'll definitely be done though before the final mission of the game. Or the final missions, should I say. Because I need the uh, uh, well you get I think you get more armor. Like up to 50%, something like that. Okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Now, I know it sounds like I can make a lot of noises, but... Someone who can't fly that well, I'm doing okay. A couple of close calls. Was it? I'm going that way! I wasn't expecting it to go that way. With these longer courses, you do tend to forget which way it's going to go next. So we're heading towards the airport then, then it's suddenly just jolted back. Oh, hell no. Oh, that's so close to the water. That is so close to the water. Hit the top of the corona, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's taking me that. I thought it was going to set me back under the water, but it's not. It's taking me this way. But if you're not sure of which way it goes, if you go the wrong way, just do just do a 360 like I did. Do a safe one, but you should be fine. I think we're probably looping back around to the airport now. Which is this? Blueberry? Yeah, it's blueberry. Flying skill, yeah, so the flying skills is, is... It's not maxed out still. But at least it's, it's, at least it's going up. Like I said, from that last plane video... Um, oh, the last plane thing we just did then in that war plane is the same plane we'll be using for that and now I want to get that as high as possible because I don't really fly around that much in games so Yeah, well, six and a half minutes I've been doing this for. Oh, thank God that's done. We've got one more left. And then we'll be done. <sighs> so, yeah, military service. Yeah, 10.8 miles. So, where does it start? It starts at the airfield, uh, the abandoned airfield, and ends near Chiliad. And there's a distinct. Uh, so as, as if as if we're flying straight over San Fierro, we know that it's going to uh, end. Yeah, so, J so you can change the jet mode and hover mode. Right, I went into hover mode there because it, we were getting a little bit too high. I don't know where the thing is. I know it's but I'm I know I'm above it. Right, it's the So 
So the difficulty with this is the speed. If you can't, that's why. So if it gets a little, oh, we have to go that way. So basically I put that back in hover mode. That's why I jolted up suddenly. Okay, 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 okay. So, I always have difficulty with this aircraft. Because, obviously, of... I'm trying to level myself up. Oh, no, 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 that's... That, that is, went somewhere where I didn't want it to go then, to straight in virtually straight into a wall but if the direction changes suddenly that's what you can do you can hit it in hover mode and you'll be fine but what you got to remember is this is a quick jet so so there I put it back in hover mode I missed it by a mile just so I could stabilize myself and put it back in jet mode then as I'm coming to it now I'm gonna go put it back in hover mode just so I don't go too far oh whoa 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 I just went straight down and I'm back here okay No. Right, so so yeah, I forgot that that happens. So we're just gonna quickly head back. I was probably about a third of the way. Well that's the other thing you gotta be careful of as well is the is the is the jet mode. It can just it can nose dive like that, so let's do that again. Also I forgot I like to leave the wheels down. You fly a lot yeah, you fly slower. We're under a lot more control, so we're going to do that this time. Just mainly because of obviously how low you fly. So we're going to do that because doing hover mode and jet mode with the wheels down was just too quick. It was uncontrollable. So we're going to do it like this. This is a lot easier. Like I said, if you want, if you want to go quick, go quick. So I died around here. And just to bear mention, what was I at? Around two and a half minutes? I'm at half the time just doing it this way, so... It's definitely quicker doing it this way. So this is the complexities of the Hydra. I'm a little bit low, little bit low, little bit low, little bit low, little bit low. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, your wheels catch, then uh, that's the only other thing of doing it this way. If your wheels catch, then yeah, again, game over. But. So we'll go around the outskirts of. Uh, that's San Fierro, so we, I think we end up looping round and then going back across. So 
Little Rise has to be a really, really short turn mile. <laughs> This is the vehicle I plan on using doing the vigilante stuff. It's not going to go well, as you can see. <laughs> you can also get tanks as well, but you'd have to go into the uh, 69 base and you need to be able to get in there without being triggered by countermeasures, not countermeasures, um, SAM sites. So, we also need six stars. We'll probably get to do that during the Vigilante missions. Okay. Okay. We're going to go under there, aren't we? Yeah, we are. How good am I at predicting things? Okay. There's the, don't get too close to that area. Uh, I think we're now going to loop back around. I think this might be possibly the halfway point. Oh, a bit low, a bit low. Again, I was looking at the map. There was obviously, if I don't see the corona right in front of me, I want to, I want to know where it is, or where I'm going on the map. Though sometimes I'll fly a little bit too close to the. Uh... Yeah, imagine doing this in full jet mode without the wheels down. Okay. Ah, oh, nice, nice and smooth. The fuck's going on down there? Is that? I think that's a geezer down there. So even with the hover mode, it's st this is still quicker than most vehicles. But obviously, when you're doing your, uh, when we do our vigilante stuff, eventually we won't be flying this close to the ground. Yeah, we'll fly close to intercept the enemy. But as you can see from the screen and the radar, it's it's locking onto cars as we go past. So this bit, yeah, we're heading towards. Um, where we need to be now, so it should be ending relatively soon. So this one, 10 miles a second, what, 6 minutes? A bit, a bit 6 minutes. In the bound storm, we want to talk 6.5 and, and we did 7. So... That just shows how much quicker this plane is, even in hover mode, uh, in, the, in this mode. Uh, with the wheels down, so if you did it fully, if you was able to control it, I reckon it would have taken maybe four minutes. If you had the, all the, if you was able to do this without the wheels down, so this would be this would be the last checkpoint here probably. Okay, this definitely will be. Okay, this definitely will be. Come on. There we go. So, after that... Yeah. And there we are. They are all the... Uh, air races. The first of the four races done. So, that is where we're going to leave for today. The next video we'll be taking on the next series of races here in Las Vegas. Um, so, like I said, that's what we'll leave for today. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, that bell icon for future video updates like this. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.